Yo, welcome, 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 welcome. Man, today, these last few weeks has been kinda all over the place when it comes to my moods. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really trying to find a balance, I think. I think everyone's going through something right now. Honestly, I think everyone is going through different things right now. And I don't think the economy is really making it any better, to tell you the truth. Just to kind of give you some context, you know, like this year has been kind of slow for us. And, oops, I just put my seat down. Yeah, this year has been kind of slow for us and we are kind of in this mindset where we're just trying to figure things out right now. You know, we've been talking about a lot about pivoting or just trying to work on different projects and things of that nature. And uh, yeah, and just talking to different entrepreneurs who are kind of going through um, different entrepreneurs and just different people in different industries that I know I could tell that like everyone is kind of going through this stage where they're trying to figure out like okay well you know the cost of living is kind of fucking crazy right now um you know a lot of people are really questioning their next moves in the next couple months and uh, and I think there's a lot of certainty and uncertainty and anxiety in in the world right now and uh, me personally how I'm trying to navigate this uh, it's not easy honestly I think I'm really trying to take this moment to try to figure things out for myself and just try to do th different things that I either been putting off or maybe did not really had the I wouldn't say the courage to do, but just the willingness to do it. And really just trying to put my focus on that. So that's what I've been doing in terms of trying to um, navigate through this, right? And one of the things is like, you know, decide to just vlog, you know, just trying to... Um, capture a lot of my thoughts uh you know also document my day as well too i think it's kind of cool to see like you know what do i do during the day my day today my day my days are kind of pretty much the same i wake up early go to the gym uh come back home breakfast eat start working you know, end of the day, usually go for a run, depending on the weather. Come back home, make food, and get ready to go to bed. Like, it's usually that, you know? And that's why I decided to call, you know, these segments Miro's Born Life. Because I don't feel like I, I live an excited life. Not saying that I want to or I'm upset about it. But, like, you know, when I t describe people in my life, they think that I'm doing something, like, super extravagant, super, you know... I don't know, <laughs> traveling here and doing all that stuff. But for the most part, like I live a very like simple life and I kind of like it. I like it like that from a simple family. So I think it's a reflective of that. So yeah, so I've just been taking the time to kind of just put these thoughts together and just trying to put them together and see how they come about. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what's been going through my head right now. Just got back. I got this right here. You know I mean? This is really good. Like I said, I put this in almost everything. Also got this wild butter here. This is more for Ash. But, yo, I love this. This is so good. It's 
peanut butter, not, but there's no peanuts in it. It's fucking good. So good. Like, I constantly just go and take a scoop of this. So this is for people who are allergic to peanut butter, or peanuts, I should say. It's crazy, Ash is allergic to peanuts, but I still buy this, you know? It's kind of, it's not, it's not a good thing, you know? But we keep this away from her. And I got, you know, a bunch of eggs right here. This is gonna last like four or five days. I have to go pick up tofu right now. So funny, I was in the line up. <laughs> this girl, this woman, she asked, she was asking me to train her. She's like, oh, can I train her? I don't know if like, if she was kind of like flirting or just being nice. I don't know what it is, you know, but I just find it, <laughs> it so funny that she was just asking me questions about like, you know, what type of protein she needs to have. I tell her the type of protein I take, you know. Um, but yeah, she, 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 she was just asking me that. You know, that's so funny. Like, one thing I realized, just me being so involved in this whole fitness thing is like, the amount of people who just come up to me and just, you know, randomly ask me for like advice and stuff like that. And I find that so awkward a bit because like, I don't really, like I know what I'm, what I'm doing but like I never feel comfortable telling people what to do if that makes sense like I don't I hate coming off as someone who's like telling people what to do and I think that comes from the fact that um, I think that comes from the fact that like personally I I I, I I'm not a good teacher, if that makes sense, because I don't like telling someone what to do and they don't do it. So when time people come up to me and ask me what they should be doing and stuff like that, it's kind of awkward for me because it's like, uh, you know, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the reality of it. But uh, yeah, like um, kind of going back to my original conversation about you know, current mindset, where where I'm at right now and things of that nature. Like, yeah, I think everyone is kind of going through a space where they're trying to reinvent themselves a bit. I wouldn't say trying to reinvent, trying to reinvent themselves. I think everyone is kind of at the space where they're kind of, um, uh, I hate the term pivot because it just seems so overly used. But I think everyone is just questioning their path right now to a certain extent. That's what I'm kind of feeling. And I think everyone wants to either have a need to make a big jump towards something or just try something different. And I know that's how I'm feeling, you know? I know that's how I'm feeling. And when I'm speaking to other people, that's why I'm kind of getting sense. But in terms of how I feel personally, I do feel like over the years of just being on this journey of starting to Sankyam, you know, worked on amazing projects, did amazing things, and I love doing what I'm doing and I want to continue doing it. But a part of me is kind of like, okay, what else can I do? You know, what else do I actually want to do? And I think that's what's coming through a lot right now like for the longest time and i think it's also coming to the fact that like i don't want to sound i don't want to sound cocky or anything of that nature but like people always come up to me and they're like oh i love the way you dress you should do a fashion blog or you know like you're such a cool person you should do xyz um or you know i always get those type of comments you know and i always said like and I guess deep down, a part of me is like, okay, like, I know if I really put my focus into this, I could actually do an amazing job at it, you know? And I think it's just um, a part of me that's not really, like, taking it as seriously as I should, you know? 
And I think that's where the challenge is. It's like, a part of me needs to be taken as seriously as I should, you know? And I want to. And I think uh, a lot of it just comes from the fact that, like, you know, you make excuses for yourself, you know, like, um, you doubt yourself a bit sometimes, you know, like, I still doubt myself sometimes, you know, I think it's normal, you know, you, you second guess, guess it, but I don't stay in that phase for too long, you know, and there's these, all these other things that you're trying to, like, um, juggle as an adult living life. So I think I'm just really in this period in my life where I'm just kind of reevaluating a lot of things, seeing what's more, what's priority for me. What do I really want to work on? What does Miro really love? You know, what Miro really wants to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is something that I'll feel very um, happy with, confident with, and really, really enjoy if I had the chance to really take it to the next level? I mean, I think that's where I'm just at right now. And that's why I want to just... The stage of my life is just kind of experimenting. And I think we all need to experiment. I, you know, I mean, I feel like we need to all experiment more. And that's something that I feel like I have not been doing enough. I know the importance of it, but I have not been doing that enough my end you know so I want to get into this zone where I'm just trying things out experiencing things and doing things and see what happens once I see what see what happens right you know like I think like I really do believe if I put my mindset to um if I put my mindset to something and I just really focus on that the, la the next um, the next couple months, I do believe that something is going to change and not just externally or anything like that, that, but I, I think I'm just going to learn something new. I think I'm just going to be in a different, I'm going to have a, a, a completely di different mental shift, you know? So, that's how I'm feeling, you know? And that's where, that's where I'm at right now. I think, you know, when you go see, you go to places, you go to stores, you see people right now. People, you know I mean? A lot of people, like, in their face, they look so, like... I don't see enough people smile as much no more. You know, when you go to stores, especially when you go to the grocery store, you don't see people smile as much anymore. Unless they're on their phone talking to whoever to just keep themselves distracted. But I don't really see that as much, you know? So I think there's a weird energy that's happening right now. And I think we're all going to get through it, you know? I really believe it. You know, I think these are times that we're all going to get tested. And uh, it's just a matter of us just keeping faith and doing what you can, what you feel makes sense to you.